For today's task, what we're going to build is a half brick stretcher bond wall. Before we go any further, I'll introduce you to the, what we're going to use. This is a standard brick. It's got a stretcher side, it's got a header side, and most importantly, it's got the indentation which is called the frog. The frog is always wall uppermost. What we need to know though before we do any setting out is the size of the brick. Across the stretcher is generally 215 millimetres long. Sizes may vary, but we go to the standard size of 215. The height of a brick is 65 millimetres and the width is 102.5. Tools that we're going to need for today's task. We're going to need a small tape measure, a chalk line, some chalk for marking out with, and the other more established things that bricklayer would use in his tool bag, a brick hammer for cutting bricks, a lump hammer, which is used in conjunction with a bolster chisel. We're also going to require a brick trowel, for laying the bricks, a jointer for finishing and tidying the mortar joints up at the end. We're going to need some corner blocks and a string line used together to string between the profiles so we can get our courses correct. And we're also going to need a spirit level for setting up the profiles. Before we do any job, in the workshop we also have got to remember the health and safety issues of steel toe cap boots or hard toe cap boots, safety goggles and at the back of me there's some barrier cream that we need to put on our hands before commencing work. What I did now, I'm going to make this wall 8 bricks long which is 1790 in length. The first thing I did, I got me string line, chalk line, and I made a mark on the floor and I marked both the ends. The distance between the profiles is now 1790. I put some bricks on the back of the profiles to hold them in place. I got the materials that I've stacked up roughly 600 millimetres from the face of the wall. Then I've got some bricks and I've put them in dry. This is what we call dry bonding, it's setting out the perks of the joints so when we come to lay them the bricks go down correctly. When all the joints, all the perk joints look equal, we then get a piece of chalk and just mark all the joints on the floor. That's for so. And that's that. The next thing I did, I've put a string line on and it's held on by the corner blocks. I've measured up the height of the string line to 75mm, which is a 65mm brick plus 10mm bed joint. The line will now be level across. I've taken some mortar off the board, which was wetted previously, and then the first course of bricks to the max. I've had previously now. Try and leave the mat so you're not covering any mortar and the end of the brick goes to the end of your profile. Put all the perch down, sir. and well the first pass. Another tip is the trowel hand should be the one furthest away from the wall. Nice even joints where possible.
that's my first cast iron. So then the second pass, I've now lifted the line to 150 millimetres from the bottom. I'm going to start by putting the half break at the very end. This is going to give me the half bond for the wall. Another tip to remember, when laying the brakes, the more I have to put away from the wall. If I go the other way, I will smudge the wall. as possible without actually touching the line. Still cutting away from the wall. Half at the end, tight to the profile. first two crossing, I will keep lifting the line up in multiples of 75 or courses of 75 millimetres and I'll be keeping the perps in line with the joints below. Okay, now we've constructed the wall to five courses high and the mortar joints are nice and soft to the touch. It's about time with some uh, pointing up. Lift the line up the way. This is where you're going to need your half round jointer. And what we do, we do the perp joints first. All the way down the wall. When we've done that, let's just close it in straight motions.
Tidy up. Best you can. Chop and tail in the joints. Chicken for any more holes that I may have left. And then a few minutes when she's turned off, I'll be able to give it a soft push down. Okay, now my wall's complete. I've waited a little bit and I've given it a little bit of a brush off just to take the loose ends away. And what I'm looking for at the end of the task is a nice flat level wall with a bubble in the middle. So nice and level. And all my curved joints right up. The joints in line with each other as I move down the wall. That's what we're looking for in this task. A clean face, minimal amount of smudging, and all the joints filled in with no holes.